Hi, Jeff. I'm Gretchen from the Philippines. Hello. Gretchen, Good to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for doing this. Of course. I love the film. It was actually the first film I watched in the cinema since the pandemic began, and it was absolutely amazing. I was so stressed with all the action scenes, but most especially, it was so nostalgic. I was a fan of the first Jurassic film in 1993. I was nine years old. Oh, it actually you were a kid. encouraged. Oh my yeah, and I actually got encouraged to take film school because of Jurassic Park. Now, that was a big impact on me. I want to ask what impact it had on you as a person and in your career doing this amazing, iconic film franchise. Well, amazing. What a lucky thing for me. Um, I've always been a humble student of acting. I had a great acting teacher, Sandy Meisner. But working with Steven Spielberg, who's, a, as you know, a brilliant giant of cinema, uh, who's very open and you see his whole process and he involves you in it. And I did two, those two movies with him. It was just a learning experience and a delicious experience that changed me forever. It mm -hmm. was unbelievably educational in a hundred thousand ways and very sweet and unforgettable. And working with Laura Dern and Sam Neill, great actors then and more now. And what great people. I would not be the person I am. I tell you the truth if I hadn't worked with all of them on that and been in this movie that has then, it, it you know, it really rang the bell. He, Stephen knows how to make a, a terrific movie and people all over the world got a big kick out of it and in the, these couple of decades come up to me here and there all over the world and they're so uh, on fire and turned on by it. It's just been life enhancing in uh, undescribable ways. It's amazing how the stories intertwine from the original cast with the current cast. And why do you think we love dinosaurs so much that like we're in awe and so amazed by them? That's such a good question. Well, well, I don't know. It's a mystery, isn't it? But as we know the history, as science has investigated, they were here so long ago and so successfully, much longer than we've been here now. And then, you know how volatile we know about their ending and how volatile and unpredictable the universe is. And it must make us humble and give us the answer to some central question of our lives, which is who are we? How did we get here? And what's gonna happen to us? And where do we fit in? So maybe that's part of it. And they're so big and magnificent <laughs> and of course, fearsome uh, and powerful. Yeah. And all of that is pretty uh, 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 intriguing, isn't it? We're like little tiny specks that they can just <clears throat> crush or eat. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. Oh my gosh. It's so humbling. That's the word. You're right. Now, oh, Jeff, God. you shot this film during the pandemic. I know you had your own little fun bubble, but also, you know, this was such an uncertain time for all of us. How did this pandemic affect you, change you as a person? That's such a good question. Well, um, I, you know, I aspire to, you know, I've always felt part of the human family anyway and uh, connected uh, to everybody. And um, it was heartbreaking uh, what, what uh, challenges people had and personal crises and losses and stories people had. Uh, so that's forever transformational. Um, and then what we did trying to make something positive, you know, with our uh, resources and how we kind of helped each other and bonded and how Alexandra Derbyshire and Pat Crowley were two producers who pioneered and um, spearheaded the protocols that, uh, that we used to get across the finish line. And, and, uh, and we were one of the first productions to do that. And I think all the productions that came afterwards, even now, are using those same methods. So I was proud to be part of that. And uh, it was an amazing time. I guess none of us have fully processed what we've been through. It's a, it's a very rare occurrence and, uh, and a, uh, a life-changing one too. Well, Jeff, I just want to say congratulations on this film. Um, a lot of people are so excited to go back to the cinemas to watch this, and I'm so happy to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so happy to meet you. I hope I see you in person sometime very soon. Thank you I for hope doing so this. so too. Thank you, Jeff.
I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. Creation is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. We can't keep her here forever. If they find her, we're never going to see her again. we got to protect her. That's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We created an ecological disaster. Allie Sattler. Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Not exactly. Don't, Don't move. move. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger?